I kind of match my walls. <laughs> Hey guys, so as you can see today I'm not wearing my hair extensions and there's a reason for that being that I'm trying to fade my hair. So as you can see there's like a lot of blonde showing mostly through the pink but you can't really tell in this light, I mean it's a lot more noticeable in real life. But if I compare that was what the blue was. Sorry, I've got a cold, so I'm kind of disgusting at the moment. I'm trying to get back to blonde so I can go to my next colour because the lighter colours are going to be on the top. So I need to make sure that all of my hair is blonde and my roots need doing badly. So I don't like using bleach on all of my hair. It's already white underneath this. It may not look like it, but it is. And when you're already at that point, you don't want to bleach it anymore because that's when it causes hair breakage. A lot of people don't realise that and bleach out every single colour when there is literally no need for it whatsoever. So, one way I take out my hair colour is using this. It's called Colour Before, obviously, if you can't see that. And it's basically a hair colour remover, so it shrinks all particles in your hair. And this one's Fashion Colours. So you can get medium strength, extra strength, and the fashion colours, which is the medium strength. Yeah. But this one comes with a clarifier. So they're not really meant for like these sort of colours, but they do usually work. It's just because they can't really guarantee that it works on these ones. So this one includes a clarifier, which is basically like a clarifying shampoo or like head and shoulders or something. So you don't need to get this one, but I just got it like months ago because I was trying to get my rainbow out and I never used it. So I thought, hey, why not use it now? But I don't have the clarifier in this one because I think I used it because I couldn't be bothered to do the whole treatment. So I just used the clarifier, which actually worked. But I've already got like hard shampoo, so I've used that a couple of times. So basically what you're supposed to do is like normal hair dye and that, you get instructions, you get some gloves, gloves all the way up the bottom. So in the box you get A, B, and obviously you put A in B, it's pretty simple. Then you put it on your head, leave it on, and then you wash it out with this. But the difference with this is, is you've got to be really, really careful, because if you are washing it out and you don't wash it out for the right amount of time on the instructions then the molecules can actually come back and obviously all the colour will come back in your head so just be aware of that when you're doing it I've used it so many times and it either does or doesn't work on blue it usually works on the other colours but as we all know if you dye your hair blue never comes out pretty much I mean I had swamp green hair for a year if that tells you anything so I'm going to try it I can't get the blue out so it's worth a try, I've got it on hand, you can see the blonde coming through, focus, look green in some places, you really can't tell on this camera, there's a lot of green coming through, and that, when I dyed this one I dyed it over faded blue, so there's like two blues put on top of each other, <laughs> I've got my hair dyeing t-shirt on, rainbow down. That was for my last Halloween costume, and it's already got hair dye all over it. I don't know where. So I'm going to show you me putting it all on my hair, and then um, I'll show you what it looks like washed out. I'll see you soon.
So after doing colour before once, my hair has got to this colour and it's not very different to be honest. There's some blonde that's like peeking through the blue. I don't know if you can see. And the same with the pink. There's some blonde in the fringe. But I still have half a bottle left. So I'm going to try it again. And see whether that does anything. Because it has made a difference. It's made it a lot less bright. But you definitely can't tell on camera. I mean it looks a lot more green. So yeah. I'll check back in with you once I've done it a second time and hopefully there'll be more of a difference. So it's taken a lot out of the sides and in the under layers you really can't tell with this lighting. It's gone like blonde in a lot of places and in my fringe as well it's like pretty much blonde at the top. So it didn't do as much as I expected it to. It's done a lot more than this in the past, so from now on, all I'm going to be doing to fade it is some more anti-dandruff shampoo, putting it on the ends and leaving it in for a couple of hours and things like that. I wouldn't really recommend colour before to anyone because the chance of it actually working is really low and obviously there's so much error that you can make with it, but you can try it, I mean it's not that much money if you live in the UK, obviously if you live in uh, Canada or America then it's going to cost a lot more money, but if you live in the UK it's worth a try. A lot of the time Superdrug will have it half price, so that's not a problem really, but it really didn't do as much as I expected it to. If I move away from the light a bit, that sort of shows the full colour, I'll show you the back. Not much difference at all really. There's a lot gone out of the pink but again I thought it would have taken all of the pink out and it really didn't. I mean in the sun when it shines on it you can see all the blonde coming through but you can't tell. I hope you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this like about hair or hair dyeing or hair cutting, I, think I need my friend cutting. So if you want me to do a video about that, I'll be happy to do that. Or how I put in my extensions, obviously when I've re-dyed my hair because it would look a bit silly right now. <laughs> Just leave me a comment down below or hit the like button and that will tell me that you enjoy this sort of thing. Or give me a comment on Instagram if you enjoyed it. As always, thank you very much for watching right until the end. And subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Love you, bye.